This is the tale of the restless spirit. One time, there was a girl who was trying to sleep at night but couldn't sleep because she kept hearing the wind howling in her room very loudly. It, she thought second thoughts about it but wasn't sure what it was. It was happening a lot to her, particularly around the witching hour, 3 o'clock in the morning, when she realized that her place might be haunted. She looked up the history of the place and found out that it was haunted by a mad woman who was also an anarchist and was... trying to possess souls who went in the vicinity of the place. The girl, like many of my other stories, did the same as always, the salt on the root, on the window sills and on the door frames, the, um, uh, which... And the dream catchers and anything else that could ward off evil spirits. But the ghost was persistent. It was almost demonic. The girl in this story actually had to leave. She was traveling by the trail of tears. She didn't even go by airplane. She was so lazy and desperate she went by car and she went through the georgia tears tear trail where the many of the slaves have been tortured and lynched long ago in american history she said that it was the scariest thing to see emaciated ghosts and bloody ghosts and everything in between that wasn't right. She could hear at night when she was driving through this trail of tears, as it's called, she was, she could hear actually crying and moaning sounds as if she was hearing them being tormented or saddened by the loss of their loved ones. They, uh, she decided she was going to go to Miami to do a fresh start. That took her through the Florida Everglades. And the Florida Everglades has a paranormal past as well as that it can cause people to be evil and demonic and has many hauntings in there so she ended up having to drive through that and again she heard the moaning and now maddening noises of psychos of past she ended up finally making it to Miami at the skin of her teeth mentally. It was so scary.